Hey everybody, Hugh here. Welcome back. Today, I thought I might mention a little bit about growing some strawberries. It's timely enough to have a wee discussion about them and uh, what can be done at this time of year, what are we looking out for? Well, we're in the middle of February, or almost in the middle of February, and the weather is very cold, very, very cold. We've had some of the coldest nights Particularly last night, the frost was the frost was covering the surface, and the ice, I should say, was was fairly deep. So uh, we're just watching with a keen eye. We might get more snow tomorrow. We had some yesterday. It didn't stay on the ground, thank goodness. But they are talking about milder conditions by the weekend. So let's just wait and see how that goes. Meantime, it's all things strawberries. I was on a Zoom. We're giving a Zoom class this morning, a uh, gardening class, so we're talking a little bit about what you can do at this time of year and maybe some of the pre preparation work that you can actually do. And uh, one of the topics, of course, worth mentioning is strawberries. And at this time of year, if you don't have any strawberries in your garden, of course, you can go and get them as bare root plants, typically buying them online. Um, if you go on to your machines and look up bare root strawberries I'm sure you can still get them at a reasonable price posted out to you at this time of year luckily enough I have some plants here that I've had since last year and uh, they're at a nice size now and I'll explain that in just a moment however up above on the shelf behind me what I do have growing there are some what we call runners and these were plants that came off the parent plant last August September time so I simply let them root into the gravel area that's in the courtyard at that stage and then uh, in September maybe late September early October I lifted them and put them into these little three inch pots where they've been growing on reasonably well, quite snug. I don't see any roots coming through the bottom of them yet, just yet. Um, so I expect they'll come on very nicely as young plants for this year. So if you do get some runners, or if you do get some straw, some bare root strawberry plants, they will be young plants that you're putting into pots, you know, about sort of so size, there, thereabouts with some nice compost, preferably some soil-based compost rather than your sort of peat-based compost. And uh, I'll come to why that is. Uh, not only is it good for the environment, but I'll come to why it's good for the plants as well. And you can see that I have them in here in the greenhouse. So a nice sheltered area. Not everyone has a greenhouse or a glass house or a polytunnel. So if you don't have any of that, put them onto a nice sunny patio maybe and uh, let them come on. You know, uh, you can see that that's even that it affords a little bit of shelter from the wind when the plants are very young like that, you know. So give them a little bit of, like any young like any young plants, you're giving them a bit of tea, I'd say. With young plants like that, really, we talk about not letting them fruit for the first year. So that is to say that when they start producing their flower shoots in, you know, May, time there thereabouts that we pinch off those flower shoots because we don't want the energy of those young plants going into forming fruits you want it going into getting the plants to be bigger you know the practicality is if you don't have any older strawberry plants it's always a treat to even let one or two of those uh, flowers develop into uh, into a berry or two just to have that fresh taste of that ripe warm sun warm strawberry always delicious as I say, luckily enough, I do have some older plants here. You can see them. And this plant here is one that was the same size as that other one last year. And you can see the size pot that it's in now. Now, in one year, those strawberry runners that I have are the ones that were that size last year. I put into three inch pots and let them grow on. And then it probably about... Um, Ooh, June time I put them into slightly bigger pots into you know one and a half or two litre pots and then in the autumn time when I was potting on those uh, runners into those small pots I took the parent plants which were in your sort of 
your one and a half or two litre pots and I put them into bigger pots here. Now the soil that I've used to pot them on into pots like this is mainly a topsoil mixed with some farmer yard manure with some um, seaweed fertilizer and a little bit of fish blood and bone. So very, very little peat based, if any, uh, material is in that. And that's because the roots of strawberries are very much favored by weevils, particularly vine weevils, where they love to get into the tops of the pots, lay their eggs in the autumn time, and the little grubs over winter will eat away at the roots and make their way down through the pots. And so by the spring, you think you have these lovely plants and then when you go to move them, you find that actually there's no roots on them and the plants just collapse and die. Uh, Audrey over on Twitter sent a picture of vine weaver recently that had attacked some hookers in one of her pots. And it is, it's a horrendous experience when you find them and you find your lovely plants have passed. So in order to avoid that as much as possible, the mix I use is typically one third homemade compost, one third uh, topsoil and one third uh, farmyard manure, uh, well rotted of course. And to make up that mix with a little bit of seaweed and uh, fish blood and bone fertilizer added and uh, put them on. And that provides the plant with plenty of sustenance for it to grow on uh, over winter, producing a good root system um, in time and of course some nice big plants. And these plants, as you can see, in comparison to some of those smaller ones, <laughs> they really are ready to produce some nice big berries for them. Now my dad, when I talked to him about strawberry plants, and he used to have them, he'd say, oh, strawberries, they're a waste of space in the garden. And I'd say, but why? But you get these lovely fruits. He goes, yeah, but you only get those lovely fruits for such, such a short time. And then the strawberries take up all that space. And I suppose that left a lasting influence with me over the years. So now I grow most of my strawberries in uh, pots like this, unless I've got a, a big growing space and then I might do a small bed of them like I had in one of my, my previous potagers. But for now, in the courtyard here, area here, and of course my mini potager, um, it's very much some nice size pots. I think I have three or four in, uh, pots like, the, like that in the courtyard. That At this time of year now, funny enough, I'm going to bring them in to the greenhouse here and let them grow on and let them come on as slightly earlier plants because they'll produce their, their fresh young growth anytime soon once this cold spell passes. And following the fresh growth, then you'll actually see where it'll produce the uh, you'll actually see where it produce those flowers and those flower stems. So it's great to have them in here under cover. Of course, it'll mean that the birds when the young strawberries appear, it means that the birds will keep keep the birds away from the strawberries and of course slugs love them as well so slugs attacking from the top and birds from the bottom they are a very popular uh, berry indeed so having them in the likes of a greenhouse like this really does work uh, very well as I'm bringing them in I'm going to remove some of that older foliage basically to minimize the chances of disease and so on, to minimize the chances of disease and so on spreading and removing some of the older foliage and uh, I do see there's some slugs from in the holes from the autumn time so I gave the pot a good check before I brought it in here to make sure there was no slugs or snails around and about and of course you can see I have that dressing of grit if the camera picks it up over the top of it as well. So they're all set to go. And with a bit of luck and a bit of the right weather, we'll be munching on strawberries in no time. <laughs> anyway, thanks as always for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And of course, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe and uh, do hit that like button. button. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care for now. Bye bye. Take care. Bye-bye.